So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4 by 4 Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go! Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Ah, we're getting nowhere fast. You need Shit. traction here. Nathan, the rocks. I got it. I got it. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. My spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy? At? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road, it might rain, might be muddy. But with Nate being so eager, he doubled the price. He would have doubled it anyway. I'll bet we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. All right, hang on tight. Oh, See? shit. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean... The guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. <clears throat> and go. And no. That was a valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. Pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <laughs> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? 
Don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. came with a winch? No, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. <clears throat> there. That ought to do it. Whoa, whoa. <clears throat> well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, it's still taking a long time. Easy. How would you look at that? Oh shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. Where are you, asshole? Okay, I think that's it. Uh, damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. They, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. It's like Nadine hasn't given up on excavation by explosions. Rafe can't be happy about that. Look, another sigil. Huh, Adam Baldridge, he ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison, a lot of books.
Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <sighs> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than rape? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a... Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Just thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searched. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard, saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. Well, that would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad. And, uh, uh, whoa! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. That would be because the war, uh... Or shoreline goats. Yeah. Take a picture of me. Give me a rifle. This is a rifle request. Every site needs to be documented before we use explosives. <laughs> it's like he doesn't trust us. Get out of the way and let me take the goddamn picture. Hang on. Ice. Saw something. Check it out. You got it. How's that? You got anything? Nothing. Hmm? <laughs> Oh. 
Wait. Shit. See what's in there. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. So, pirate walks into a bar. Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, Hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate sits back. Arr, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Check it out, boys. What is it? Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline, Mercs? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. <laughs> another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. And Bonnie. Mm hmm Operated out of the Caribbean. I thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Must have been here before. 
Find his keepers. Sounds good. Hey, be careful, kid. The name of the stairs are busted. There's no way into the drawbridge. All right, I'll see if there's something up here. Guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam, special delivery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, kid, you all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I seen a few. I'll bring the car closer. You two just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know. Keep up the good work, kid. Get that bridge down. There we go. Tower on a volcano. 
Looks like the end's in sight, huh? To nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? <clears throat> well, it was worth a try. Gonna take a look around. So, just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. <laughs> right, but his Nathan's theory is correct, and there's a lot more treasure in mind. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting your partner. Guys, we're going to find it, pay off that lunatic, and still have plenty to spare. Trust me. <laughs> All set. Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> no! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Ah! No panic! No panic! No panic! I am very much panicking here. The cable's gonna snap! Nate! Oh! Ah! Nate! Ah! I got you! Ah! Hold on tight, kid! I got you! Ah! Definitely share on this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. Hold on to something. Stop a ah. Ah, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Uh, uh, almost. Now. Let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. <laughs> Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. See what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Careful with that thing, kid. <clears throat> Heads up! God, Jesus! I said heads up! Hey, 
This way. He seems excited. Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. See a treasure, though. Hey, guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's um... it's, it's Adam Baldridge. It's uh, Joseph Farrell, and it's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh, let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe, maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys, <coughs> whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's gotta be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here.
Jesus. Is that all of them? Well, let's hope so. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? He's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Location, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed, okay? Because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. That's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Guess we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that no, one. No, 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 no. No, Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. If you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. Excuse me. something out of Avery's era. Where did you get this? Ah, uh, friend, that is a very unique item. I'd give you a discount. $500. Honey, <laughs> are you kidding? I don't even know if it's real. Give you 50 bucks for it. $400, and it's real. Had other buyers interested in that piece. Come on, man. I, 200 okay? That's all I have on me. I cannot possibly part with it for less than 300. That is my final offer. All right, I'll take it. 300. Nate, really? Done. You see that? That's how you haggle. <laughs> if you say so. Hey there, little guy. Sir, what are you doing? Would you try an apple? Hey, you like that? Huh? Sir, but Sully, come on, it's a, it's a lemur. Come on, come say hi. That's all right. <laughs> so cute. Whoa, hey, hey, Sully, <laughs> look who's back. Rabies, Nate. Hey, you know what? After this is over and done with, I'm gonna get it done. Yeah. We come out of this in one piece, I'll buy you the damn dog. Can I name it Victor? <laughs> sure. Hey, Nate. Want me to buy you one of these? Sully, you gotta be crazy to wear a shirt like that. Ah, crazy handsome. Oh, man. Something smells really good. Mm, he's right. It does smell good. Excuse me. Hey, here we go. Locked. I guess we're gonna have to sneak in. Discreetly. Implied by the use of the word sneak. Sorry. Hey, check it out. 
That window over there is broken. Hey, Sully. I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work. <laughs> Jesus. Long way down. <sighs> you okay back there? You keep your pace. I'll keep mine. Yeah, well, at least you got a great view, right? <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got. Edward England sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. clock tower yes yes it is hmm now what do you bet Leo? Ah, Taurus. Four signs. And four bells, way up there. And these things in the middle of the floor look like locks. Got it. Let's go ring some bells. Crap. What? This is definitely the place. Call Sam. On it. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Voicemail. Hey, Sam. Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, boy. Check it out, Sully. The clock still works. Yeah, I noticed. I'm trying not to get tangled in those gears up there. You bet. Fingers, Nate. Should I be nervous? No, good. Trust me. Where have I heard that before? <sighs> Leo. I dated a Leo once. Scorpio. That Avery was a Scorpio. Ah, okay, that is really loud. Hey Nate, that did the trick. The Scorpio lock just released. Okay, moving on to the next one.
Okay. Got it. Hey, Sully, any word from Sam? Not yet. Yeah, he's probably fine. Maybe he just forgot to charge his phone. Fast to climb. Uh oh, better move. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whew. <laughs> that was fun. This is a nice view. Thank you. 
change the time here. Wow. Well, this is a nice view. No, 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 no. There you are. I sure hope you're doing okay out there, Sam. <clears throat> okay, Sully, I made it! This is gonna be loud! Sully, heads up! Sorry, the handle broke. I'm gonna have to ring it myself. Ah, here we go. Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? All right. Sure, why not? Let's see what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my towel, I, I got nothing. Yeah? No, we're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Sully. Way ahead of you. <clears throat> Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery, Thomas too. Partners in crime. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> there are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah. They got those star patterns on them. They turn, but which way are they supposed to go? Just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and uh, Christopher Condent.
I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? You and me both. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condon. Splendid. But why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Ah, uh, that's right. Condon went by Billy One Hand. Guess he had one made. Well, that mustache. It's almost as impressive as yours. <laughs> hmm. It's all right. Hmm. Hey, look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Yeah, hey, you're right. Huh. Bonnie was a redhead. Yeah. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a Brit. What do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? I bet these line up, too. Hmm. So, who are these guys? That's... Um... They are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you... Give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. Sully, say cheese. Mate, come on. Come on, say cheese. <sighs> cheese... There. You know, these are actually some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. Okay, nah. just saying. William Mays. American? Yeah, from Rhode Island. Just like Thomas, too. Hey, Richard Want. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Want, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. But Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet, but I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. <sighs> it's a 
it straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. God, look at Farrell's face. Looks Nada. like he'd rather be anywhere else. Nuh-uh. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Nada. Nuh-uh. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Nada. Nuh-uh. What is that statue holding in May's portrait? Well, the ship was named the Pearl, so maybe a pearl? Ah, very literal. here uh you know i'm honestly shocked you don't know this stuff don't i i do i just want to make sure sam knows you know because he likes to feel useful that's all uh -huh. of course shit what happened here a torch probably fell or something come on let's see what's left i don't recognize this guy Looks a lot younger hmm. than the other pirates. Hmm. Nah. Nada. Nah. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Nada. Nah. That's one. Oh, Sam texted me back. Ah, see there, Sully? Turns out Sam doesn't know everything either. Gloating is unseemly. Huh. No name. This guy's get-up looks Moorish. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Nada. Nah. Hmm. Hmm. Found the stars, but who are you? Huh. Yazid al-Basra. Looks nah. Indian. Nada. Close. Muggle. Are not the muggles, hmm. the ones Avery hmm. robbed? Honor among thieves. <laughs> nah. Nada. Yeah, like that's ever the nah. case. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Nada. Nah. -uh. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. That's three. Edward England. Stout little fellow. And four. All right, I got the names of two of them. We should still be able to figure this out. Not sure yet. Maybe send it to Sam? Really? Hey, you're the one who said he's the pirate expert. Just saying. Okay, that's one. And two. Last one. All right, let's see what he makes of them. You know. That kind of looks on. Huh. 
What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Here, let me see. Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These could be trade winds. Yeah, and these look like latitudes. Yeah. And I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Prodeus quod licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh, my God, it's so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am, calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. It's been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner, well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow. Oh, Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. And I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old time's sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quo licentia. Forgotten liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now and destroy your phone. What's going on? Rafe knows where we are. We gotta find some place to hide. <laughs> Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey. Buy a new one. 